I think I have filmed this intro for many times now So I'm just gonna get this straight Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel It's very very weird for me to film this intro over 20 times now because I don't know how to prepare an intro So just let, let's get it, let's, let's do this a much more awkward way so uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, posted the last last painting and I know I owe you guys an apology because well you know I have a lot of priorities so first and foremost I want to wish you guys happy new year it is the first of January here in Malaysia and how do you guys spend your new years um, I don't know because I am not really actually the type that party during the New Year's Eve let alone I don't even party during my 30 years in life <laughs> so yeah let me know how do you how do you spend with your family or with your friends so last night I just wait for my husband to come back from work he works in a restaurant so that's why he came back right 30 minutes right before midnight so I guess it's a very great time for us to have our, you know, a small uh, mini countdown thing, I don't know but um, yeah, we drank wine and then we talk about our review about 2018 which is very very weird, right? because we're supposed to have this kind of review during December but I find that it's a very, a very great time to actually talk about our year and um, 2018 in a nutshell is not really my best year yet but um, I guess it's a, there's more story to that but I think I think it could be better maybe because I have this Asian mindset the thinking that I'm always not enough I'm not sure but let me know what you think about your your 2018 how was your year was it good was it great if it's not really good I really feel you I totally relate to that and I will always tell myself that time will get better even though if it's not good or it's not even what you've expected but always believe it always have faith that with time it will be better yep so this is a painting that I did several months ago it's actually a, a sort of a painting exercise I did uh, with trying out this new style um, this is a plant that is that is a some people call it as a rubber plant or rubber fig plant but I think I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a rubber plant <laughs> because it's just very common and uh, this is actually a another hybrid species it's called the um, rubber plant trio I'm not I, I, maybe I'm not really Maybe I'm not right in this section, but I'm not sure. So I really like this plant. It's actually one of my go-to um, plants that I wanted to get in the future. Um, just so you know that I have a few plants in my place. I have like three rubber plants right now and they are not like this kind of uh, species. They are all the uh, red and green species and they're very easy to grow to be honest and they're very, they actually create some kind of an aesthetic to the place so that's why I really like them and most importantly they grow very easily so which is a very good thing for me <laughs> because I'm not really a, a very advanced uh, sort of uh, house plant gardener or something so yeah yep so um 2018 in a nutshell to me it's actually a very good year for, for myself especially in finding what I really want in life and also it's actually one of my uh, highlights is that it's it is my first year doing full-time in the freelance industry or a freelance artist and um, and not only that, I even started to do YouTube even though I, I started off very awkwardly being so, um, how to say this, like a very absent-minded <laughs> kind of videos but I'm not really sure, I just feel like, you know for me to start off um, 
very awkwardly it's actually a great uh, start I guess because so that I would know that if I would do better this time I would probably do much more better and if I sound very awkward in this video I do apologize for this because this is my first time doing a voiceover without any script now i know you guys will be be like thinking why would you need a script for doing a voiceover um it is because i am very very nervous if you see my previous videos i i speak like a a robot um this time i just feel like you know i just want to go natural as candid as possible even though my grammar or my english may not sound as good I, I really apologize in advance because English is not really my first language even though it's like it's a language that I speak 90% of the time and um, I've always wanted to try to speak as fluent as possible and I don't speak uh, Mandarin that well I still can't understand Mandarin but I just don't know how to speak it or write very fluently you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is like my first voiceover all natural, I guess. 2018 is like a, a year that taken a toll on my mental state. Uh, I'm not really sure how to explain that in words. I would say it's like, it's like a lot of times I've been in a rut. Um, I think mainly because I'm very, I'm still lost in what I want to do. In terms of what kind of paintings I want to do um, not much on the YouTube side because I feel like YouTube is like an outlet for me to do whatever I want but um, in in the freelance in being a freelance artist I have to take note of what clients want what would they want to see in painting how to actually commercialize this painting Maybe I think too much in this process, being that this is like my first year in in this industry. But I feel like it's actually a very uh, a good step for me to think ahead, to think about my plans for 2019. Because I just don't like to stay in one place. I like to think uh, much more ahead so that I can expect what kind of situations that, that will come and then I will probably be more prepared to deal with it so yeah and a lot of things happened in 2018 one of it is that um, I've joined a lot of uh, not a lot really maybe maybe around four or five art markets and and it's actually a very uh, great thing for me to put myself out there I mean, to be very honest with you, if I would have the choice, I would probably not to do it <laughs> But I think for the sake of myself, I have to, uh, you know, put myself out there And show people what I can offer And that's actually one of the things that I've realized that I do enjoy meeting people but it's just that I'm, I still feel like I have that wall between me and others but the thing is, I, I'm very afraid to be very vulnerable and that is actually one of my main reasons of why I have this YouTube channel and I, I don't know um, I don't know how to say this guys like I'm really appreciative of all the comments and all the subscribers like I recently reached a thousand subscribers and that is actually one of the mind-blowing things that happened um, not to say that I really care about numbers but to think that there's a thousand people out there really care about what you do or and those awkward videos that, that I post that is actually very very amazing for me it's a it's a very amazing feeling that I've never felt and I always feel like like can I can I be myself in this YouTube channel I don't know what people would actually accept for who I am and and I think it's an ongoing process for me to try to break down those walls so besides uh, doing art markets i also do some commission work this year i really want to do more commissions for people especially pet portraits is actually one of my favorite thing to do and speaking of pets i i really wish i could have my first pet 
this year in 2019 but I'm not really sure I just have to evaluate my financial situation and also to think that if I can actually maintain my living expenses and also with with my pet and I think we're reaching at the end of this painting and I feel like I did not say anything about this I feel like doing voiceovers much more casual is actually a very good thing because I think that I can actually tell you guys about my my thoughts about about painting and also my painting career as my thought process on doing this painting is just to have fun it's just simply just to have fun I think after doing so much commission work I forgot about having fun because all I do is to do what the client requests so this painting is actually for me to discover what other techniques I can actually put and this is actually one of the um, uh, watercolor approach where I put a lot of layers on which I think can be very time consuming to be honest but I think like this is a very good um, approach to try to learn about tonal values as for the background um, I like to put warm colors because the um, the leaves are, are already on the cooler side so I just wanted to balance it out using warm colors although I, um, I kind of make this on a whim because to be honest, I when I paint things, I just feel it and then I just choose colors based on what I feel about the painting. So for me to have like a tutorial about it, I just don't have the correct way of, of teaching uh, because 80% of painting is just for me to feel and also to set it aside and let me think about what to do with other painting while doing other painting if you know what I mean so that's why I don't like to maybe my way is different I prefer to do like two or three paintings at one time so that I can actually adjust my perspective adjust my views about this painting and then and then when I come back and then I try to see what can I actually troubleshoot with the colors so that's why each painting takes me this long for for about two to three days so that's why it takes me quite a while to do one painting I think uh, other people will have a different kind of approach but I think for now this is like my my go-to approach probably I would change because that's how an artist do you don't you don't settle you have to try many many things many techniques out there to see what you're capable of so I this is the uh, finished product um, I would say this is actually a, a okay painting maybe I just expect too much from myself but nevertheless it's actually one of the, my favorite paintings to put it on my living room because I like paintings like this I like to frame paintings like this in my living room because it's just like a pop of modern feel and botanical kind of aesthetic so yeah and um, hopefully you guys enjoy my casual voiceover <laughs> I'm not going to do scripts anymore because I feel like doing voiceovers like this is it's pretty refreshing to me um, yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye